Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and this is my review of Evan's Remains. This game comes out June 11th, 2020 for the Nintendo Switch, Steam PC, and PlayStation 4. This game is a puzzle platformer with very heavy sections of story dialogue. So is it worth playing? Is it worth buying? Let's get into it. All footage you're seeing today was taken straight from my Evan Remains gameplay video on my second channel. Links are in the description and comment section if you want to see the gameplay. Also, at the end of the video, I'll be throwing in a couple puzzles from my Let's Play. This game was developed by Matthias Smeed and developed by Whitethorn Digital. It won an award at both 2019 and 2020's GDC Showcase. This will be a spoiler-free review. There are a lot of mysterious elements to the story that are worth experiencing for yourself if you decide to play this, so I'll give you a quick gist of the plot. You play as a girl named Desis or Dice. I'm not sure. You are tasked by your employers with exploring an uninhabited island in search of a boy genius who goes by the name of Evan. He's been missing for years, but after a letter specifically asking for Desis to search for him, she sets off and the long and winding mystery begins. Just a quick heads up though, although this game has a lot of puzzle platforming levels, there are even more dialogue sections you'll be sitting through. I'm not exaggerating that this felt like a visual novel at times with the length of conversations characters were having. If you really want to, however, they have an option to speed through all the text, but I don't recommend you play this game if you were going to do that in the first place. The mix of tranquil puzzle solving alongside this engrossing story really works well as a whole package. So let's talk about the gameplay portion. You will be primarily finishing levels by getting over these giant monoliths. It starts off pretty simple with you jumping on triggers that make platforms disappear and reappear. Each monolith gets progressively harder and introduces new mechanics. For example, there's a mechanic layer that teleports you between two platforms and another that moves platforms along tracks. It definitely becomes a head scratcher, but as a word of advice, take each step very slow. At any point during the jumping puzzles, figure out which options are available to you. If you fail, reset, get to that point of failure, and from there it's trial and error. If you'd rather focus on just the story and are getting frustrated with any of the puzzles, you can press start and simply skip it. It's definitely more gratifying persevering through the challenge, but it's not worth sacrificing the flow of the game in my opinion. So after a puzzle or two, you'll progress the story via long dialogue sections and pretty much repeat that for the most part. It's simple, but alongside the presentation, it works pretty well. The graphics are very well done and the animation is smooth. The environments do a great job at conveying how chill and simple the situation is you're in, while at the same time not feeling like you have to rush. It's a little hard to explain, but it all just flows together and makes you want to keep getting to the next section in order to uncover the mystery of all these characters. It goes without saying, the story is very good. So I'm going to end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe for more game reviews. Evans Remains is a fun little title that you can complete at your own pace and skip sections whenever you want. I'll be leaving you guys with some puzzles that I did. And if you want to see the complete gameplay video I did, subscribe to my Let's Play channel. All links are in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Evan, who is random, who told Desus to get here. Desus and uh, I forgot this guy's name already. Okay, looks like we gotta do this. Um, interesting. Can't make that jump. Oh. Can't make that jump either. <laughs> you gotta keep falling. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna get harder from here on out. Oh no. Guess we're heading into a forest. Da -da -da -da. Shaggy. I'm just barking at something outside. It's super dark, so I don't know if I know who it is. Oh man, here we go again. Oh no. We got a teleporter here, huh? Oh, this is. What is this? This is a different one. That is. Oh, that's a reset puzzle, I think. I think that's a reset. Um, uh, yeah, I got it. Oh, I didn't get it. They have to add that reset. Okay. I can't touch that because that's my jump part. 
So how do I do this? This just resets everything. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me think about this. Okay, so do this now. Do this. Ah, oh, nice. I jumped over it. Okay, cool, cool. That worked out. I got lucky. Man, do not do this on, like, no sleep. Um, let's see here. I see you're very focused on your notebook. Oh, I get it. You're a traveler and you like to draw the landscapes? Relax, thesis, breathe. So, can I ask what you're doing here? Can I ask what you're doing here? Well, you can, but I asked you first. You shouldn't be here. 